Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and whatever freaks are listening, <laughs> whatever ones don't fall into those two categories. What yeah. else is there? I don't know. Freaks? Freaks. Freak heads? Yeah. Is that, freak what, we, show. Is that what we call them? Freak shows? Yeah. Yo, what, <laughs> hey, what are you, freak show? <laughs> you're what? You're a they? Yeah. <laughs> They're freak shows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just heard about. I just heard about this. Uh, I just heard about um, they're letting trans uh, women compete at sports now. Did you hear that? <laughs> it's like a new thing. Can you get the soundboard on? Is the soundboard on? It is. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Now, now aren't you happy? This you is put, insane. Now, <laughs> aren't you happy you put on the cans? <laughs> Sass was refusing to wear cans like a professional. Because they don't do anything. They clearly, clearly do. No, they don't. I would be able to hear. I could no. still hear that if I didn't have them on. There's no way you'd be able to hear music. No, the only reason it matters is if they're... The only reason that you should be wearing the headphones is if there's a producer who's in a different room and you need to be able to hear them. No. The flagrant guys, they don't wear headphones. That's because they all have fake hair and they don't want to damage their hair plugs. Yeah. That's what that is. Exactly. I don't want to damage my hat. <laughs> Your free hat that you probably <laughs> stole from Shane's house yeah. one time. This is my best hat. <laughs> you do love that hat. <laughs> no, I have two hats. I have this and a Timberwolves hat. Yeah. And then too, too many people were asking me if I was a fan of the Timberwolves, so I stopped wearing it. Never even heard of it. I thought no, it was I like a brand. I, I thought it was a basketball. Is it a basketball team or a baseball team? That's basketball? so funny. I, that, that, I've had that with a few things over the world. Yeah. Like, where I like, pick up a shirt and, <laughs> and then everyone's asking you questions about it. Yeah, and you people go, oh, is this the a band? Street, they'd yeah. be like, oh, Timberwolves. You don't see a lot of that out here. And I'd be like, I don't even know what the fuck that is. I didn't I, even know because it doesn't say Timberwolves on, bus. on the hat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just a logo. So I was like, I don't even know what the Timberwolves are. Yeah. Yeah. I've had that with um, Dad Me. They have a shirt that I wear. Yeah. Um, And it's a play on a famous album cover. I want to say Parentelis or something like P- Parentelis? Or- I don't know. Pantera? Pantera, yeah. I don't know. I, have, I honestly have no idea who they are at all. But the the thing that I wear is a play on that album. Yeah. Pe- people all the time see me and like, I'm like, hey, Pantera. And I'm like, mm-hmm. Yeah. And it wasn't yeah. for a while. It wasn't until Big J was, <laughs> it wasn't until one day Big J was like, that's a f- great album though, right? And I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's a, this is Dad Me. This is a Dad Me yeah. shirt. <laughs> Block Island Comedy Club. This is a different one. This is this is a solid little shirt for Block Island Comedy Club. Shout out to Ben, whatever your name is. Where is that? Block Island. Nice. Yeah, it's fucking sick. It's a good club. No, one of the best in the country. I've heard. You won't it's a get kill it. box. <laughs> Murderville, dude. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Body bags. Ten people in there. It feels, like, it's, it feels like you're in a theater. They left like a, on a stretcher. Yeah. It's not. It's not a lot. It's not a lot of people. No. It's Forty, but feels. Oh, it feels like a thousand. Ease. <laughs> ease without ease. <laughs> Yeah, it was crushing. But that block life, man. Yeah, that's block what, life. That's all I want to do is block life. What is block life? You're just living on Block Island. Yeah. Do you know Block Island? I've never been. You're a Cape guy. Yeah. You're well, Cape? my mom's from the Cape. Your mom's from the Cape? Yeah. Born? Yeah. What was I? What was I? A mother, a father, a sailor? No. They actually lived there. Yeah. They moved there, or were they were like uh, they lived somewhere in Massachusetts. I think they lived, might have lived in like Pittsburgh at one point, but no, I think she grew up. She grew up on the Cape. Grew up on the like Cape. Hyannis. Interesting. Yeah. And what happened then? They had to leave? Nope. <laughs> Why would they have had to leave? They're getting just be, chased out? Well, there's just like no jobs or whatever in the winter. No, my grandpa worked in like New Jersey. Oh, okay. He would commute. He would commute to yeah, the Yeah, it was a pretty wild uh He would get a commute. ferry. No, he would drive oh, you get like drive. eight oh, you hours. Can, you can drive? Yeah. Hey, every day he would drive? No, he would do it. And like, <laughs> I, I think he would go for like days at a time. Yeah, of course. That was, that was the old way of doing it. They also, they owned like a hardware store for a while. On the Cape? Yeah. Wow. And then they sold or went out of business. I don't know, something. I bet, yeah. And did they have property at one point? They had a house. And they never got that off. It was probably, that'd be worth a billion dollars today. They actually, I think they did just sell it for a lot. Uh, they just sold it? They just they just nice. moved out like a couple of years ago. Oh, but I think yeah. Someone was telling me that they bought it for like $20,000. Yeah, of course. It was like, if they bought it in like the. Yeah. It's like, I was just staying with this guy, something like that. He had a similar story, but grandparents buying, yeah. buying this house in like the 60s when no one gave a fuck yeah. about anything. All those islands were like nothing but fishermen and, yeah. and inbred idiots yeah they don't they never lived they weren't like on the water though it wasn't like a beach no. house it doesn't matter once you're on the island yeah on the island cape cod's then great they, then then the kennedy showed up yeah started everything up they just yeah they just the whole ecosystem and now it's like you can't live there anymore yeah all the locals got priced out <laughs> yeah it's crazy so you show up and it's like there's just a bunch of billionaires on these islands but no one's there to clean the houses because it's like they can't afford it yeah 
Yeah. Have you ever seen that clip of that, uh, of like the news? It's like, it's on like MSNBC or something. And they're like, there's like a, it, it, is it, what, what show is it? It's not, I don't know if it's The View. And it's the lady and she's like, it's like that lesbian. I'm assuming she's a lesbian. She's got like big puffy pink hair and, and she's like trying to make a good point. Osborne? I don't know who it is. And she's like, uh, she's like, Donald Trump, you want all the Mexicans to leave America. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Who's yeah. going to clean your toilets then? That, I think that was Kelly Osborne. Yeah, yeah, yeah everyone's yeah, yeah. like, yo, what Everybody. the f- yeah, she was like, oh, really, Donald Trump? Yeah. Well, who's going to clean your toilets then? <laughs> and she did a real sassy. Yeah, she, yeah, she did like yeah, she did like a yeah. whole thing. I never went, wave. Yeah. Oh. yeah. And she was like, no, I didn't mean it like that. You guys you guys know I didn't mean it like that. It's like, there's only one way to mean it. Yeah. You did mean it like that. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's hilarious but to be but so agree- not racist that you're accidentally racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's yeah. just blatantly racist i guess yeah 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 well no the facts are you know mexicans do tend to clean a lot of toilets. yeah they do yeah yeah so if they had none of them we'd have to have i think donald trump West will Indies. always have someone to clean his toilets i feel like there's always someone i don't think poor. he's gonna be getting on his hands and knees cleaning his toilets at any point in his life that is true yeah that is true Cleaning the. T- <laughs> this is great for the audio listeners. I'm doing the impression. I'm doing my impression. Yeah. I'm, I'm building up the the courage to do a Trump. Have you ever tried? Wow. I always go. Yeah, yeah. I, my you ever Trump- try like by yourself? Hmm. Have you ever tried like by yourself? Like in Re- your car? Really driving? good. Wow. Yeah, you can't do it. I hit it up my ass. <laughs> yeah, I hit the close. watch. Not up even my close. Ass. No, it's good. It's no, like, that's terrible. I hit this watch <laughs> up my ass. You just sound more like. You're- like if someone in a your, mobster movie. I go, your father wanted me to get you this watch. I hit it up my ass from the Koreans. You doing Pulp Fiction? I'm doing Trump. <laughs> You're doing Trump doing Pulp I'm do- Fiction? Trump. Oh, I hit this watch up my ass. The best watch. Up my, the best ass. I've got the best ass. I tried to do it. For you. You know what I tried to learn? For I tried you. to learn how to do an Obama. Because I thought it would be hilarious if I could go up on stage and do Obama, like, really well. <laughs> I just think Obama's voice coming from me would be funny. Yeah. I also be- tried to learn Arabic for, like, a week. Because <laughs> I think that would be funny as hell if I could you go went up on stage. Went, what? Did you learn anything? I learned do and da. Do da? Yeah, that's like, what, that's like what they start you out on. Do das. Do yeah. and da. They're two different things. Yeah, I got it. Do and da. Yeah. And that's the, are they two words or is that like a I don't know what they are. You just, it was a week of learning? You got to learn. It's five. I did five minutes a day. I was doing Duolingo. Okay. Yeah. And you were like, do, da. Do, and what was da. your, what was the big plan here? You don't come on stage and just be like. Come on stage and be like. Exactly. And I was like. How funny would that be? Well, the problem. If I just did like two minutes off the top, just in fluent Arabic. Yeah. Just have a dabba dabba. Yeah. Yeah. But dabba And I never did it on like a podcast or anything. I just saved it for when I went up on stage. Yeah. That'd be hilarious. Yeah. But I didn't. It was too much work. I looked it up and it was like it takes like 2,000 hours to learn Arabic. Yeah. But it's also not that great of a bit. It yeah. is. It's definitely not 2,000 hours worth of a bit. But even if. An hour. If it took an hour to learn Arabic, it would be a good bit. What would you do instead? You just go up and go, look. Blah, 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 blah. Dude, that would kill. <laughs> no, yeah, I would not. get a standing. I would be getting standing ovations before I even started my, my set. Why don't you just then pretend you can speak Arabic and then it will still kill? Because that's just a terrible idea. No, that's good. You just go up and go, yabba dabba do. No, no. Yabba dabba do. <laughs> yeah, no. My ass. I hit it up my ass. <laughs> the best ass. No one has an ass as good as me. No, yeah. So you tried to do it there for real. And I, you still no one do has it. an ass as <laughs> no, good as no. me. You're just doing your ass. normal voice. You're just, you sound just like yourself. No. Yeah. yeah. I hit it up my ass. It sounds like you with a cold. That's what you're doing right now. That's a, that's a, that's what impressions are. No. Those impressions are just me with a cold, for sure. Obama's very easy. He's like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. Oh, he does the thumb thing? He does a thumb thing. Yeah, who started that? JFK? I don't fucking know. Right? The Tom thing? Yeah. I don't know about that. I think he did. I know JFK was the first guy to wear makeup, and Nixon was like... You, you little queer. <laughs> I ain't no queer boy. I ain't wearing no lips. I ain't wearing no lipstick like a queer. Yeah. And then uh, Nixon was crazy. Nixon was all right. Yeah, but that that was a famous thing. Yeah. JFK wore makeup, and then yeah, anyone, e- everyone listening to the everyone listening to the uh, debate was like, 
oh, Nixon destroyed him. And then everyone watching was like, look at this sweaty pig. Yeah. Nixon. And they all voted for uh, JFK. Because he's a handsome Irish guy. Yeah. Handsome Irish he's guy. Irish? Oh, yeah. Kennedy. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you put it like that, I guess. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> everyone claims to be Irish. I don't think anyone actually Obama is. claims to be Irish. No. I swear. I swear. I swear to God. I mean, we all probably have like a certain percentage of Irish in us. Of course you do. We were fucking... Women can't resist us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I guess I, I guess in Obama's case, the slaves didn't have a physi- chance. Physically, women can't resist you guys. You yeah, guys like course. to throw yourselves on women. Yeah. <laughs> At least we get some. Not like the Jews. What are you guys doing? You sheep fucking. <laughs> These are not fucking our, these are not fucking our bed sheets. <laughs> it, it, it still counts. A win is a win. As long as you no, get, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no. yeah. I've slept with thousands. <laughs> no, I've slept with, not. I've slept with thousands in my ass. <laughs> I'm absolutely, yeah, definitely on. Uh, I like these mic stands, real mm-hmm. mobile. Yes. You ever seen the barstool mic stands? No. And they're just falling all over the place. They can't keep them in one place. No, barstool's falling apart, <laughs> dude. It's yeah. <laughs> it's such a dumb. It's like that show that we did last night. It's, everything's broken. Oh yeah. Oh everybody, me and Lil Sass. Tuesday night comedy, yeah. downtown social, second and tenth, I believe. Yeah, really fucked me this week on the France Watch show at the stand. Who did that show? Did it? I mean, I don't have any. I I I can't be moving three hundred tickets a week in New York City. I, I don't have that pull. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> trust me. And everyone listening knows the begging I did for the special, <laughs> and then immediately after yeah. the begging for the fucking midnight circus, yeah. and then immediately it's way after, too much, dude. It, we've, I've, I've, Some people have like eight shows, <laughs> and they can't get ten people to any of them. I don't understand how you do but it. Tuesday night comedy, it's free. We go, we're, we can get it, people, because it's free. Yeah, and it's a fun hang. Yeah, I got high last night on stage. Very rare I do that. Yeah, it's very rare I get high. And I said, you know what? Doesn't seem like it. you haven't put that thing down in fucking 24 hours. I just hit that right now. Yeah. Just to remind me of the of the good times from last night. Yeah. Just to, yeah, just brought me back. You it were, wasn't really a good like it wasn't very really good times. We kind of just did the show and left. I think that was the first time we've ever done that. That's all we needed. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we needed. It didn't seem like anyone wanted to hang around and drink after that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I was like, I got to get the fuck out well, of here. Yeah, we dude. actually the problem is yeah, we're just I had my headphones on before I even entered the uh, exited like the showroom <laughs> into the bar. <laughs> you got off stage with you put the buds back in. <laughs> yeah. You were like you didn't even shake my hand. You opened up your little bag and you were like, right, I'm on the road. See you later, folks. <laughs> Toodaloo. But it's a good show. It's a good fucking hang. It is. It's, it's free. It's a great time. And so I got hyped. So I usually don't get hyped because I, I tend to like get a little bit too retarded on stage. Yeah. Like I get real slow and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. I haven't been drinking at all before going up. Because no. I say, I, I, I've listened. Dude, even when I have like three beers, mm. if I listen to the tape after, I sound fucking insane. What's the slurring and shit? Just slurring. Like, like, like it takes like, like a one minute bit turns into like five minutes because I'm like taking 45 seconds between words. <laughs> Just taking little detours. Yeah. So I was, on a, I was on a plane. Yeah. You know, so I went to the airport to get on the plane. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you even add that information? Yeah. In? Yeah. I just forget what I'm saying sometimes. If I get too drunk, yeah. I'll just be like, what am I talking about? Yeah. The one that you weren't there, I got too drunk. Last week? Yeah. <laughs> I, wish I, I didn't do anything and I had three beers. And you're just ma- mumbling? <laughs> no, I had to do a set because the last dude wasn't there in time. Okay. And I had to do a set and I was I was all over the place. I repeated a, a be- at the beginning to a joke twice. Oh. Yeah. And then I, I called myself out on it. Fucking, uh, fucking killed anyway. Doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. Just Mr. Fucking Bumble. murder regardless. Sass, you whatever. Even with my, at the end of the day, my mistakes are better than everyone else's. Oh, yeah, exactly. They love to Choices. see a professional fuck up like that too. That's like a rare sight. To Sometimes, see. yeah, yeah. It's like a Steph misses a three pointer. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I, I get it. It's like it's just exactly. as at this point, that's actually yeah. the exciting thing. Yeah, you're like, oh, he's human, just like us. Oh, can he miss? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes he can. Yeah. yeah. On an empty stomach, I miss for sure. <laughs> you give me a chicken sandwich, I'm burying these jokes. <laughs> chicken sandwich and eight hours of sleep, I'm fucking burying oh, yeah. these jokes easily. Fucking watch out. I had to crush some pizza on my way over here. Didn't have time. Don't have time to eat today. Too busy. Too busy grinding. Yeah, good. Um, but the grind set, dude. Yeah. You, uh, you, yeah, you're all, you're you real sleep? busy. What? You're real busy here. What are you talking about? Well, the other day you made me come here because you were like, I'm so busy. And then I came here and we just sat and talked about know, nothing yeah. for I, three hours. I, I, no, yeah, yeah. That was <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I thought we were, we did actually start something, but then we just started yeah. talking. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm not a good guy to be like get down. I'm not a good guy to sit down and get stuff done. I was like, can you can you meet me at this bar because I have to eat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, dude, no fucking chance. I have so much shit to do. <laughs> I literally do have a hundred things to do. I got, I got here and it was the equivalent of us just sitting at a bar. I know. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. That, that was a bad meeting. But I think you, mostly your fault. You were meandering. No, not Talk at all. About Martin Lawrence's first album, all this no, type of stuff. No, Can't get him stopped talking about comedy. Not now. Every time you turn around, you go, Phew. all right. Fucking flows through my veins. I just, I just restarted Steve Martin. <laughs> <laughs> just, started re just restarted Stevie. <laughs> Just obscure bits. You're just in them obscure bits. Do you ever hear of uh, Zach Galifianakis' second <laughs> album? The, the bit about temperature water? Temp temperature? People really like his stand-up. Zach? Yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't think he has a whole lot out, did he? I don't know. He has that one album or one special. Is it on Netflix? He's playing piano and he's yeah. going around playing nut stuff. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Obscure guy. There's a guy who fucking made Hollywood and bounced. Is he not in Hollywood anymore? No. I think he just earned enough money and then bought himself like a... This is what I was told. Like, like up in Seattle, he has like a ranch or something. Mm. He just like did Hollywood, shook a couple of pedophiles' hands, yeah, got a couple of movies, and then just bounced. I mean, he's so funny. It's like he, yeah. And also the movies that he was in, they're not really making movies like that anymore. No, so it's he was like, like the last generation yeah. of that. Yeah, yeah. Like Doesn't... the Hangover and the, the. Have you seen the campaign? Oh, was that one? It's Will Ferrell and him. Oh. No, I don't know that one. Yeah, I think they're running against each other and Oh, I I know the one where Seth Rogen marries the president. That was That was did you ever uh, see that one? Yeah, that was what Long the, Shot, the long Was the, it? What an absolute dog shit movie. What one of the worst movies of all time. Yeah, that movie wasn't great. The campaign's really funny. Is it? Yeah, it's really good. I don't know. I think movies are just dead. That's the whole problem with all this Barbie Heimer stuff. I remember like it's just like cut the interest so much. I was like who the fuck is going to movies? Well, I would go to the movies, but I, I think it's I, I do think it's funny for for people who like everyone's attention span is just shot right now. What the, what'd and you say? Sorry. Everyone's attention span <laughs> Fuck you. And uh CD Bob CD <laughs> Go to the ad read. <laughs> plug whatever horse we gotta plug. <laughs> go go sell the new thing, whatever it is this week. Whatever the new addictive thing is, go sell it, please, folks. No, what we'll be is. right back out there selling you dog shit. Everyone's been talking about Factor Meals, and they are sending me a package that I'm excited to get. I haven't got to try them yet, but um, from all the other podcasts that they sponsor, I've been told they are uh, sensational. Um, Factor Meals are fresh, never frozen, and they take just two minutes to prepare. So mealtimes are quick, easy, and delicious. Head over to factormeals.com slash collie50 and use code collie 50 to get 50% off. That's code Kali, C O L L I E 50 at factormeals.com slash Kali 50 to get 50% off. <laughs> All right, folks, back to the show. It's crazy for people who have never, like, to never have gone to the movies in the last, like, five, six years. Yeah. And now you're going to go sit down for five to six hours and yeah. watch movies. Yeah. Like, imagine being, like, and it's also you're doing it for social media. Yeah. So like the idea of being off your phone for that long is was fucking wild. Yeah, I don't. Really, I also don't understand the the idea of that people can't be really excited to see both of those movies, right? Those movies are on the complete opposite sides of. No, it's like it's a, it just happens to be a thing. Yeah, there's no way that there's a dude out there who's like been pumped to see Oppenheimer. And he's like, no. I guess I'll see Barbie at the same time. No, no. Yeah, just it's just people have been forced. I think women want to see Barbie and they will tolerate. Oh, Oppenheimer if Oppenheimer. they go see Barbie. I think that's what they do because they're kind of like, they don't really, they're used to watching good movies and like just like not getting it. So yeah. like, to a woman, that's a good movie. If she just Barbie? Sits, no, Oppenheimer. She just sits there and sort of like disagrees with you. Yeah. But they don't actually like them. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like girls don't like war movies in They general. don't like any sort of serious yeah. thing. They hate that. They're like Schindler's List, they hate. They Is there anyone that loves it? Dude, are you kidding me? Is anyone who's like Schindler's List is my favorite movie ever? No, but I watch it once a month at least. <laughs> at least. Easy. I'm yeah. surprised you don't have it on in the studio, just 24 on a 24 7 loop. Yeah, like Fox News in a waiting room. <laughs> <laughs> just, just Schindler's List on loop. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and next uh, we got a Flanagan yet? Your four, your four o'clock appointment? You're waiting for the dentist. Is this, why is there Schindler's List on? And you go, that wasn't, I was like, can you change the channel? Oh, no, no, it's a DVD. Have you ever been in like a dentist office or a dentist office or, uh, office or a waiting room or anything and they have to change the channel because like something really weird comes on the TV? No, I have not. Yeah, no. I've, I've seen that happen a couple well, times. What came on? Just like, it, it'll just be like some weird fucking 
romantic movie or something and they're like making out and stuff yeah. on screen and then all the all the secretaries start panicking and they have to get on like a stool and change the channel yeah she's got like a sweep and brush yeah and that's thing. like what they use they use like a ruler or something <laughs> no we can't watch yeah it's just some horribly graphic 50 shades of gray comes on yeah <laughs> um yeah so it doesn't make sense to go watch these movies but i, I haven't been to the cinema in fucking years yeah, no, I think the last time I went to the movie. Oh, I saw that fucking uh, Wes Anderson movie with Timothy Chalamet, what, the French dispatch. French dispatch. That movie was terrible. And you went out, bought popcorn, and sat down. Yeah, and did the whole thing. That movie sucked. That's crazy. The idea of doing that when I could just sit on my couch and not move. Yeah, is wild to me. I just, I, I've just been going with YouTube late at night now. You're just, just, just on the just TV. surfing. You just on the TV. Go to Burt Kreischer, the biggest liar in comedy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, all right, let's fire this one up. Now, have you seen that? Sorry, Bert. Shots has that, fired. Has that yeah. video been recommended to you? Yeah, Bert Crouch at Biggest Liar. Yeah, I did watch. Um, I watched it. It was no, the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I watched um, Beige Frequencies. Try hard. I think. I don't know. All those YouTube channels are so dumb. I'm. I'm I think I'm past all that though. I think that's like I'm. I'm over the uh, the haters. Yeah. It was. It was fun for a while, especially during COVID. All those type of yeah. guys, and they what make documentaries about people and yeah. the exposing and all that. Now I'm just like I'm kind of just bored. I, like, everyone sucks. Yeah, I also don't think those people have any. I don't think they've ever been to, or like like Burt Kreischer is clearly not the most hated person in comedy if he's selling out like fifteen thousand person arenas. Oh, he's a week. One late. of the most popular <laughs> men in the world. <laughs> yeah. Actually, he's one yeah. of the most popular people yeah. in the planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Clearly, things and are then, going pretty well for and him. Then they're like, what a try hard. Yeah. What a try hard. Look at the way he's trying to yeah. tell jokes. And they were calling him the whole thing was that he was a liar because he's like I guess his material's like inconsistent. And it's he, like, yeah, he's writing jokes. Yeah. He's out, look, look. There's loads of guys like that. And he obviously over exaggerates the shit out of stuff or whatever. But who gives a fuck? Like what's the And he has a massive like, who fan cares? base. Like, what's, they the, like it. what's the problem? Is he fucking in court? Yeah. Like I did know. he swear on a Bible that he's fucking his daughter calls him a walrus or whatever yeah. the fuck? Like, what's the matter? I don't know. Doesn't matter. I don't know. But after a while, too, it's like, yeah, there's like, did a hit piece on Shop. You go, you're a nothing. Yeah. Make no mistake about it. I don't want to you... be a part of this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to end up on the fucking Reddit. Fuck the Reddits. Yeah, you can. You and Lewis can go and end up on that. I don't care. I'm not on fucking it. I don't headlining care. the Reddit. There's no one there. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of people there. They all stink. There's so many people uh, there. Reddit's for fucking vultures. They yeah. fucking stink. They're sitting around doing nothing. They're all just in their fucking parents' basement. For, I have nothing but respect they're all, for everyone. They're all virgins and they work at fucking PF Chang's. Oh, dude. You're fucking <laughs> You're all yourself. mad as This me. is going to ruin your special. Is it? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Well, not, <laughs> yeah. I'm not like, IMDb. Is yeah. Gonna, okay. They're going to tank your views. <laughs> they can tank, they're gonna your... tank your They're going to tank your ratings. On what? Fucking There's Rotten a... Tomatoes. <laughs> Am I getting Gas on? Digital presents Colm Terrell <laughs> on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> that would be sick. That would be sick. If I could get a review. Like, even get Dude, a... all those, like, YouTube specials, have, they have, like, IMDb pages. Do they? Yeah. I'm getting tanked on IMDb. Yeah. Imagine. <laughs> That'd be funny. Just one out of ten. Would that, could, that <laughs> could that affect anything? No. If it's if it's actually a good special, no. It's like it can't possibly affect a no. single person. It's like Do you see? Some guy's about to click on it and goes, no, 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 no. Hold yeah. On. No, well, thank God. If it was a one out of ten, I feel like I'd be more inclined to watch. Definitely. Rather than if it was like a seven out of ten. Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, uh, it's like natural, just car crashes and... Yeah, you want a car to fly past you or crash? You know, and it's just yeah. whatever. Yeah, they did all that with the reviews when you do the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. There's loads of reviews yeah. constantly, and you read the five stars and you definitely read the ones. Yeah, dude, you, you know, never read a three. You're like, no. no. Do you did you did you know that like Yelp will like shut down uh, reviews on certain like or, or like on stores or restaurants stuff if they're getting like a if they're getting like an internet swarm of people giving bad reviews? <laughs> they did that with a seller recently. Oh, because of um, that that girl and that that was getting in trouble for the Asian joke yeah, or, yeah, or, or Malaysian the, the Malaysian, Malaysian Airlines flight. Yeah, yeah. Bet, apparently everyone was going to Yelp and giving her bad reviews, and uh, they just like shut it down. They're like, none of you guys have ever even been to the comedy cellar. Yeah, why would we let you guys write a review? Yeah, isn't that crazy? Smart. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, because people get fucking buried. That like apparently that like fucks over companies like Yelp reviews. <laughs> <laughs> dude, if you like, that's why they do. They like offer them like gift cards and shit. Like, to, like yeah. certain restaurants like offer people gift cards to remove their review. Yeah, I, 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 I was wondering if it still offer. Does it still work like that? Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. They're like, we'll pay you fifty bucks if you take this down. 
<laughs> so there's just a guys who have all their scams. There's always been these scams. Just someone probably just sits there f scrolling through random towns, reviewing yeah. restaurants terribly. Yeah. And just waiting for someone. Yeah. To be like, I'll give you 50 bucks to remove. Unless this. you click on that person's fucking profile. And though, they have right? like a thousand it's reviews. It's all just bad reviews. Yeah. yeah. Then you get open up. Yeah. I knew someone back in the day in Ireland, his granny, his grandpa, his grandmother would write a letter to like corporations and always say like they got a faulty product. They would, she would just write letters constantly to like Cadbury's and all these like Nestle. Just for fun? No, oh no, just, you know, for looking for free shit. She'd be like, oh. "Hey, I bought a fucking a vacuum. I bought, I bought a packet of M and M's. There was a cockroach in it." And then they were just like, "All right, here's a hundred packets of M yeah. and M's." She'd be like, "Thank you." And she would just do that all the time. Yeah, that, that feels like a waste of time. Like, you, but do you really need the hundred packs of M and M's? Of course you do. <laughs> no, you don't. I've never been like, I've got too many M and M's ever. Do you have any M and M's right now? No, you I don't need have enough. I, you don't have not I, enough M and M's. Exactly, that's that's my point. You but just, then, if you had like boxes into, of M and M's in here, you'd be like, "We got to get someone's got to get rid of these fucking M and M's." I'm sure she would give them to kids. You'd be yelling at one of your fucking slaves that works here. <laughs> get rid of these fucking M and M's. <laughs> Seriously, what are you doing? What's with the fucking M and M's everywhere? I've got M and M's in my ass. We're both doing our impressions now. You're doing the, and I'm doing. Yeah, the I did a good you though. That's exactly what you would say. Well, get rid of these M&M's. You know, get rid of these fucking M&M's. That's terrible. There's fucking M&M's everywhere. <laughs> and then you'd come and you'd tell me, you'd come to the stand and you're like, yeah, I'm at my studio and there's just fucking M&M's everywhere. Fucking, I'm in the weeds here, dude. Yeah. I'm in the weeds. <laughs> yeah. I can't, I can't move. There's M&M's everywhere. I had to yell at my producer. I opened up I, the door. I, I called him. I apologize, but I mean, there's fucking M&M's everywhere. I opened the door. It's like it's some a fucking circus in some, there. Some guy shows up. I got 10 crates of Gatorade. <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, where was what these things? You gotta you get some Gatorade. You said you here. found a syringe and a bottle of Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Just every corporation delivering. <laughs> oh my God! A year supply of Bounty Kitchen <laughs> Roll. <laughs> bounty Kitchen Paper. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't I mean, like ordering shit in bulk. I, I when I moved into my new apartment, I ordered like a like a massive box of toilet paper and a massive box of paper towels. And I, they're, they're, yeah, they're dude. They're still. I'm not even like a quarter way through. You them. gotta start shitting, dude. You gotta start. I've, yeah, you're purposely giving yourself diarrhea just to try to get through. Yeah. yeah, yeah. My uh, my my. Sh yeah. The problem with the bulk is well, normally for me, it bulk is like alcohol or drugs, and then you end up just or do you keep do you keep alcohol like at your place? Do I keep alcohol at my house? Yeah. Uh, I've got my um like beers. No. Yeah. No, I very rarely drink at home. Yeah, me too. Uh, but I have like a liquor cabinet. That just has, like, all of everything. I never touch what, it. What, in case, like, people come over? I don't know. We used, I used to just make a lot of cocktails, I think, back in the day. Yeah. Not Very, anymore, though. No. Too busy. Back on that grind yeah, set. Yeah. That was back during the COVID times. Hey, you're way too slammed. Kid me? Fuck, I got, I got four packets of M&Ms. I got to get out of here. We're going to get shit-faced tomorrow. Who is? You, you and I? Yeah. Oh, at the, at the sass yeah. flush thing? I don't know if I can make it. You have two spots. <laughs> I'm in the weeds, dude. Yeah. I can't, I'm fucking, you got way too like, much shit to do. Got caught up at the studio. Sorry, dude. I had to, okay. Ryan Long came up from from, from four, four, five. <laughs> if I did the yeah, yeah. Every the whole the all of New Yorkers here. You guys should move Barstool over here too. We probably will have to make a great, great little fucking. It's fucking empty over there, dude. No one's there anymore. What about the Mean Girls? Are they there? Huh? No, they don't come in. What? What do they do? They don't. I don't know. They just don't come in. Apparently their podcast does well enough that they don't need to come in. That's fair enough. Who's listening to that? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> podcast a lot of people. <laughs> well, I'm an idiot. I mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, I'm a fucking moron. I can't be shit. shitting on my family like this. No, of course not. Yeah, yo, that's like my little sister, dude. That's like my that's like my little sister and my big sister right there. One more word. One more word. <laughs> don't fucking talk about them like that, dude. They're good people. Yeah. But uh yeah, dude, everyone's moving to Chicago. It's fucking empty over there. Chicago stinks. Chicago's a great city. Horrible. Disgraceful. Have you ever walked around there like in the summer? It's beautiful. Yeah, but have you been there in the winter? Yeah, it sucks. Exactly. But so does here. Nah. It sucks here in the winter. Nah, it's beautiful here in the winter. No, it's terrible. It's actually like really depressing. Compared to Chicago. Chicago might be more depressing. The sun doesn't come out in the Midwest or in the winter <laughs> ever. <laughs> it's gray though for like eight months. So why everyone's so fucking fat? Probably. Because the winter, yeah. In Sweden and places like that, they, those times of the year they get twenty four hours of darkness. Yeah, I know that's <laughs> fucking nuts. I went to Iceland, dude. That's what it was like there, and that's probably they're all miserable there. Yeah, everyone in Iceland hates Iceland. 
Of course. They're I don't, tra- think, I don't think there's a single them. person there who's like, I fucking love this country. <laughs> <laughs> They'll go, they Ooh. hate it. Ooh. Dude, the last night I was there, we were checking into our hotel. And, uh, you know, like, you're, you know, when you're checking into a hotel, you kind of go, be like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> kind of just like a rhetorical question. Just yeah, like, yeah. Just throwing it out there to be nice. Hey, how's it going? Uh, hey, I'm just checking in. in. Hey, how's yeah, it going? I'm just checking in. Room for one of them. Yeah. And the, I go, hey, how's it going? And the, the lady working at the desk, she goes, you know, it's been better. <laughs> and she's like, it'll be better, though, one day. Oh, Hopefully. She said, oh, yeah. And then I was like, all right, well, I'm checking in for, uh, I got, we got, we got two rooms. Yeah, uh, well, give me the tough floor so I can <laughs> jump out. Yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> but it was also, it rained. Too. So it's like, it, it's dark there 24 hours during the winter. <laughs> and then like the spring, it's light for a while. Yeah. And, but it's raining. Like it was raining the whole time we were there. It was overcast and raining the whole time. But I think the summer there is supposed to be like really nice. It was expensive, right? Too? It's so expensive. It's so expensive. And then, then like, even... There's like, Everything. There's, like, like, no like, cars. There's no... Ubers cost. No, like we got it. We rented a car. Renting a car was actually probably one of the cheaper things we did. Yeah. It was, like, they it have was to like get 300, sh- it was, like, 300 get, bucks for, like, a week. They don't make a single thing on the island. No. And they have to ship Everything it gets shipped in. <laughs> and then they, apparently, yeah, they have that app. Do they make you do the app? The uh, Don't Fuck Your Cousin app? No. The, like, oh, Ice, yeah, because everyone there is related. Everyone in Iceland has, yeah. like, a distant cousin type of thing. They go, they do it. No, I, don't, I legitimately don't know if we saw a girl. How funny would it be if the you... The whole time. How funny would it be you meet a girl, right, at the yeah. bar? You go, let's do the cousin thing. Yeah. I was like, do you want to fuck? And she goes, yeah. I was like, let's check what cousins Is like. that really an app? Yeah. It's a cousin fucker app. That's crazy. It's not called that. It's like the Swedish version of that. Or, or whatever, Iceland. They have it in Sweden, too? No, so I meant to say Iceland. Oh. Yeah. But imagine you meet this girl. You're like, hey, do you want to go fuck? She goes, let's check it for cousins. And then you scan it, and then you're not. And then you go, damn. All right, then. Take it easy. Yeah. <laughs> it's not bad, huh? That's a good one. You should do that on stage. Because I want to fuck my cousin. I'm yeah. like, now that I'm smoking weed again. I keep on saying again. I think you've been smoking weed for a while. No, I'm back on it. When were you off it? Forever. I don't think you were. I, I, I usually only smoke at night when I get home. So you smoked weed? Yeah, before bed. That doesn't it doesn't mean that doesn't like cancel it out. It's not like you could like shoot heroin before going to bed and be like, well, I only do, I don't do heroin. Well, now it's like I no, just yeah. do it before I go to bed. Yeah, well now I'm now I'm doing heroin and driving. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's the difference now. <laughs> yeah, you're doing that's, it day to day. I'm out here. I'm working. You're getting too comfortable, dude. I'm not getting too comfortable. I'm with relaxed. The special in the no. bank. Spe- got the special in the bank. Yeah, I've, you're I've, fucked. Uh, it's called uh, one yeah. and done. One hit one. It's called the fruits. Of, it's called the fruits of labor, my friend. Yeah, right? it's called the fruits of your labor. What are you gonna name your special? Um. Fucking cancelled. Yeah. Again. Cancel this bitch. Cancelled it. Yeah. My pronouns are uncancelled. Yes. Jack, damn it. That would be good. Didn't one. Roseanne have a bit like that in her Fox special? I don't know. I've no idea. I didn't watch it. Those she, trailers are crazy. I the, love them. The Fox specials are The Fox wild. specials are wild. It's always just, just My like, pronouns are cancelled. These fucking yeah. nuts, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and the crowd is like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This coming month on Fox, <laughs> there's two fucking genders, bitch. <laughs> Roseanne Barr takes the stage. <laughs> <laughs> That's like actually what it was. It was, it was the commercials. The commercials were coming up during the Super Bowl. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like every five minutes, <laughs> and I was like, I gotta see this. Roseanne. But people apparently people loved it. I, all the reviews were either one star or ten stars. Yeah, of course. Yeah, because that's funny. They've been watching it. They're already just hitting the ten stars. Yeah, and like that represents what I. Yeah, think. yeah. Go, Doctor Fauci, more like Doctor Faggot. Yeah. And then, oh. Coming to Fox, <laughs> Doctor Fauci. That's a fucking. That's a crook if ever. That's a fucking crook if ever I saw one. What is the? Uh, what is like the weirdest play? Fox did Fox ever do specials before? Or was that their first one? I think it's new, to, to my knowledge. It's yeah, like, it it's like a new, it's a new thing ever since Guffield. Who else is, is doing one? Rob Guffield, Schneider. Garfield? Didn't What's Rob it? Schneider do one too? Rob Schneider just did one too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Rob Schneider thinks the vaccines are foolish. Did I ever send you that Kyle Mooney sketch we were talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Is it legal to be this funny? <laughs> <laughs> Laser pointers. <laughs> I don't even remember what he says. Yeah, I don't remember either. So yeah. funny. That's funny. Yeah, those... Um, they all become like a character themselves. Just those. Yeah. Like, Do you, anyone see a guy wearing a mask while driving a car on their own? <laughs> 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 I 
Tell him, yeah. That's the type of guy we don't need at the in dra- That's a, that's a guy we don't need with gun. That's a guy who doesn't need a gun. Yeah. Gonna take my guns. <laughs> I'd love if they just like, but they had one thing where they were just like every single thing was just like, fuck the vaccines, yeah. fuck the government, fuck your m- more than two genders, you know, fuck yeah. this climate change, fuck everything, fuck the libs. But we should definitely be able to fuck kids. Oh yeah, just in the middle there, just yeah. out of nowhere. It's like no, but let, let's honestly, let's fuck some kids. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, it's an interesting I'm, idea. That that's just in the middle of that whole thing. Yeah, because so, then you'd like, I don't agree with the fucking kids thing, but I like that they're sticking it to Fauci. So I'm gonna give it five stars, yeah. ten stars right there. Just isolate everyone, then I guess, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Being the pro, they all have the same exact jokes. Being yeah, but who has a pro? Lower the, age, let lower the age of consent bit But they're not actually saying it in like a This is ironic They're literally trying to change your mind Yeah They're trying to e- educate you like I'm Hicks. assuming no one <laughs> They're like Hicks Yeah Going like that Age of consent man doesn't make any sense <laughs> Doesn't make any sense <laughs> Do you ever listen to the Beatles? Half their songs are about fucking 14 year olds <laughs> Right? <laughs> Best band ever What? Real lower this Why don't they want us fucking our daughters? <laughs> Ask yourself this Ask yourself this. It's to keep you guys working. Yeah. Sheep. I'm for one. I'm fucking my daughter. Yeah. And then you're like, no one says any noise at all. Slamming the mic stand on the ground. No one makes any noise. I mean, seriously, guys. (laughs) Seriously. No, fuck my daughter. Like, you know I'm kidding, but I'm I'm not. I'm not. (laughs) Why aren't we fucking the kids? Why is in some countries age of consent is lower than America? Why is that? So you tell me I can go to Thailand and I can fuck a 12-year-old, but I can't have a 17-year-old girlfriend in America? And they say it's the land of the free. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Not my America. They say <laughs> Yes. Anyways, says, I got a special coming out on Fox. Says right here. <laughs> it says right here in the Bible, Corinthians, thou shall fuck a child if you would like. That's all I. It's the only fucking rules I like need to follow. <laughs> All right? It's good enough for the big man upstairs. It's good enough for me. <laughs> All right, folks. You can catch me tonight in Chattanooga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be at Bananas in New Jersey this weekend. <laughs> Four shows. The tickets. We get limited tickets left. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Lev, we're cracking up about the limited tickets left. Oh, that's the best. I do that all the time. Do you? There's like a thousand tickets left. <laughs> tickets are really flying yeah, for this guys. one. I've done that. You're going to want them getting while they're hot. I go, ooh, some <laughs> tickets, are, yeah. tickets are flying. A couple for this just one. freed up on the late show. There's <laughs> one ticket sold yeah. for the late show. Late show is close to selling out. I'd say you get the tickets <laughs> yeah. the first You're hoping that the late show gets canceled? No one has a win. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Ooh, guys, tickets are flying. That's why. That's you know what happened the with the special. The special was the funniest thing of all time. Like Lewis once points, we're selling tickets for my special, and then Lewis posts all of the early shows are sold out. Yeah, and then I'm like sharing that information, and then it's like a week later, it was like, guys, we haven't sold any tickets to either of the shows. I'm like, wait, you said it's sold out. It's like, no, Lewis just said that for some reason. <laughs> And then I go, what are the exact numbers? And they hit me the numbers. And I was like, all right. And then I pump it, pump it, pump it. Yeah. Pump it, pump it, pump it. I doubled my guest list, all the type of stuff. Checking on the numbers. Some of the numbers have gone down <laughs> in that amount of time. In the space of two weeks. And People gar- changed their mind. I single-handedly like, sold like fucking 30 seats to both shows. Yeah. And then the numbers went down. Yeah. I was like, what is going on? Yeah, it's crazy. So close to selling out, folks. But this is it. We're right there. <laughs> Dude, have you ever had have you ever had a show where the they have the seat map? Oh, visible for yeah. all the folks. Yeah, side yeah. splitters in Tampa. Yeah. If you ever want to see someone's actual ticket sale, side splitters in Tampa gives you the exact. Dude, that happened to me this weekend with the punchline in uh in Atlanta. So people see the exact seats. Dude, you can see because you have to select what seat you want. Yeah. So I'm like promoting the shows, and luckily the early show sold out, so I could start really pushing the late show. But dude, mm-hmm. I clicked on the late show like three days before the show, and there's all there's all these white dots. And there's one red dot. And I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, this one sold out, too. That's awesome. Oh, it was the opposite. There was, there was one ticket sold like three days before going. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> it ended up going up. Dude, some people just don't. Some cities, they just don't buy tickets until like the day of. Yeah, most people. Yeah. Most places. Unless you're like fucking huge and they're like, well, this they, is going to sell out. That's the worst is when you, the people that actually do come for you. 
and they it's still a week of having bought the ticket. Yeah. But then you meet them. They're like, oh, yeah, me and my tw- 20 of my friends, we all bought tickets for yeah, you. Yeah, we like flew out. We, flew, yeah, we drove like, down. Yeah, we bought the tickets four minutes ago yeah. before the show. Just because we knew it wasn't ourselves. You remember people hit you up and be like, do, do they sell tickets at the door? <laughs> yeah. You're like, what do you, just fucking buy a ticket online. Why do you need to buy them with like cash at the door? <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, obviously they, they sell them at the door too. Yeah. <laughs> But I've never been like I've ne- it, 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 never even considered buying tickets to something at the door. Truly wild, some of the DMs, the 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 the, the how different some people are in terms of like. Do you ever meet these people uh, who come up to you like for photos or whatever, and they're yeah. just talking to you about nonsense yeah. and they're bothering you? Yeah, Atlanta and, was actually good. Atlanta, I had none of that. But sometimes but you meet these people and they're like they barely even know who you are, but they're the ones who will sit down and go, "How would you get into comedy and all this type of shit?" And oh like, yeah, fuck off. Then you'll meet someone else who's like, will come up and if you're selling merch or something, he's like, he'll just hand you $50. He's like, oh, I don't want to ask for a photo. I'm, I'm not gay. And yeah, then they run yeah, off yeah. and you're like, I'd happily take a photo of you. Yeah. It's this fucking retard yeah. talking to me about cancel culture. Yeah. That is like, yeah. He's like, he's like, and what? And how do I find you online again? Yeah. Like they're asking you your social media handles, that was type of thing. You're yeah. Like, Fuck off. I've had, I've had people come up to me before, like after the early show and be like, so is it like, what do you, is it like different material on the late show? Yeah. And I'm like, no. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't just have. I don't have two hours of material to just be like flopping, switching in between which hour I want to do. <laughs> I'm gonna do this hour instead on this show. I think they'll like. I think they'll appreciate this hour go. more. I might do some of those jokes. I can't even remember what I said. <laughs> yeah. I actually didn't even get to any of the jokes. <laughs> yeah. I was just too. Yeah, too I, in the moment. I was just riffing about this very well taught out yeah. wordplay. <laughs> it is funny though, when you first got into stand up. Like when you first were like watching stand up, did you think it was all just off the top? I don't know if I ever thought that. I think I, I did. Know. I think like when I first, the first like uh, like Louis C.K. special I watched, I was like, this is crazy. He just goes up there and just starts talking. Yeah. Yeah. Like I uh, thought, I thought it was like, I thought stand up comedy was like somehow you proved yourself to be funny. And then they were just like, here, come do an hour. And yeah. you just like walked in and they like had an audience there for you. And then you just like off the top, off, off the, the top do- of your head. Off the dome. And you just like just had just to like just be funny off the top. Just off the dome. You're like, dude, you saw my grandfather died of cancer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, and just the best. <laughs> yeah. Like it. Yeah, that's literally what I thought it was. No, I, I I don't know. I think I knew young, but I remember I do remember someone in Ireland years ago. He he came up to me after the show, and he was like, "Oh, that was great, man." But uh, a little word of advice: I saw you looking at your notes uh, before you went on stage. He's like, "So I I knew you had written these jokes." It's like, and then he goes, uh, "Don't do that. Just go up there and just fucking come up with it." This guy said to me, I swear to God, he goes, go up there and just come up with it. He goes, that's what all the all the greats do. All the and he naming all these American, yeah. uh, sorry, all these English comedians like Peter K. Peter K and Jimmy Carr, they're just coming up with all that. Yeah. I was like, no, they're not, you yeah. fucking moron. They're putting in like five years. They of, tore that. Yeah. They tore, they <laughs> yeah. tore. Do you think every night they're yeah. playing arenas just off the dome? I'm just walking in and be like, I hope I'm funny tonight. I hope I can come up with something funny to say. Yeah. <laughs> Have I ever said something funny? You're just bad out. Yeah. Figure it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that would be fucking horrifying yeah i guess earthquake walks on stage he doesn't have any but like i'm sure he knows he has a, like a map in his brain so like where it's gonna he go. said he never writes anything in his life he just never has but i'm sure he goes up and goes i'm not open with the prostate bit yeah there's a lot of people that are like that though yeah there's a lot of people who don't write shit out yeah and they just like have a concept of, like i'm just gonna go up on stage and i tried that yeah didn't work oh that's i all. was like no i'm not one of those guys that, i'm all. not one of those guys that has like a funny thing in his head who can just go up and do a 10 minute bit on it oh really yeah oh i need to write that shit out like like joke like jokes yeah i need at least like one punchline in a new thing to fall back on yeah that makes sense yeah i don't do that i, I just write down a word usually yeah unless it's like a very specific thing but then eventually you say it so many times that you fucking you find out what makes it funny eventually it just becomes word for word and you turn into like some retired robot just like blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. and you're like this sucks this yeah sucks so bad Remember when I did acid, at and then it slowly starts doing worse and worse. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I remember I did acid at Skankfest, and then at last second I was told I was hosting a show. Oh Jesus! And so I went there. I'm on acid Skankfest. I go out. I'm hosting. I'm talking to the crowd. It's like a lot of fun, and I'm tripping. I'm tripping balls. Like I'm really tripping nuts. And then uh, I'm about to bring on the first act, and I was like, I can't just go do crowd work and then bring on this first act and. They have to do the first jokes because it's not fair to them. So I was like, all right, let me do a couple of jokes then before. And I, I, I had to stop like doing crowd work and go into jokes. And that transition was so uh, retarded 
especially because I was on acid, I felt like such a phony. I couldn't do the jokes. I kept yeah. being like, so uh, funny thing with drinking games is, yeah. uh, and I was like, oh, God, I feel like such a, yeah. because it is, you are natural for a second, and then suddenly you go into this like pre-recorded almost yeah. conversation. It felt like the dirtiest thing of yeah. all time. I couldn't, I think I said it, and everyone was like, I think I just freaked everyone out. Yeah. Yeah. The horror of, it would be cool. That's like the coolest thing in the world if you were a guy who went on stage and was just like, no jokes ready. Just did an hour. Murder. Yeah. L leave it. <laughs> just every night. That's just what you do constantly. Yeah. The, I don't know how you would even, I don't think cool, it's possible. The coolest guy of all yeah. time. I, I don't think it would be possible to do that without doing crowd work. Yeah. I don't know. Who do reckon does it the most of all the people in the world? Who, who goes up there with just nothing? Who has the least going up there? It's like Burr probably or something. I don't know. I don't know. Shane said when he was when he did his first hour, it was right after like his his the new one. Yeah. When he first did that, he said it was right after his Austin special came out, and he had like a weekend that weekend, and like everyone had already seen the special, because that's why they were all there. Yeah. And he said he had nothing, and he just like wrote down a couple ideas and just did an hour on like of all new shit. Nice. Yeah. That's the most fun. I could never. No. <laughs> I'm sure I will be able to at some point, <laughs> but not right now. No, I I, I cramp up when that happens. What about that crane? Did you hear about that? I did, yeah. No one died. No, not a bad way to go. A crane to the face. Yeah, but no one died. I think like four people got hurt. Yeah. Minor injuries. I mean, there was a fire. Bef like I think it was a fire happening for a bit before it went down, so they probably like cleared the area out or something. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Because if there was people there, I mean, someone would have no, died. No, because I, I saw a video of it. There was people like driving by. There was a guy on a fucking scooter almost got really? hit. Really? Yeah, it fell down. Like There was people running. That's crazy. It wasn't cleared out that much. It might have been a little bit, but it's just the fucking city, like, dude. Yeah, that's not the first. That's not the first crane that's fallen over since I've lived there. That's like the third crane. Yeah. When I first moved there, there was a huge crane fell down, fell down right down in the middle of the road. Like it was, and there's a video of uh, just this huge crane falling in yeah. the middle of Manhattan. There was, was, like, oh, was it? That was pretty close to here. Yeah, it was a couple of blocks over. Yeah. You see it? We were in the room. And <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? The whole room up. <laughs> oh my god! It sounds like a crane fell over. <laughs> if I remember correctly, that's just the noise. I've only heard that noise once before. But I'm just saying, if you were to, if you were to, if you, you know, kind of had to choose how you would die, crane's not bad. Crane to the face, like you're walking. You, mean, you wouldn't even know. You just go, what the? Pff? You know what really scares me is those videos of the fucking ice falling from the top of buildings. Oh, in the winter. they're vicious. They're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine that. Just walking ice. and you just get a fucking spear of ice <laughs> down the top of your head. Yeah, but I, your head just explodes. Uh, and it I, just happens, dude. I know. Yeah. Like the, there's the, nothing the, they can do about it. <laughs> yeah, the icicles fall and yeah. kill people in New yeah. York. Again. But that the problem with that is in your mind, this is like a p frozen ice. It's fucking high. So it'll just like slit you open. I think it, it would slit you open. I think it kind of more kind of hits you bluntly because they kind of explode themselves. I think it's more. No, I think I think it's more of a bludgeoning. You, I think it hits you on the top and you you like peel open from like yeah, like a banana. Yeah. yeah, I think it's more of a bludgeon sort of sort of explode. Either way, you're dying. Right? Yeah, you're away. dying. You're dying. Yeah. But like getting slit right in half, where you, where you're almost like still awake for a second, and, <laughs> and you see and you can see your hands fall. That's yeah. That's how you like just a perfect whoosh. yeah. And you go, what? And you fall into four completely like clean different pieces. Yeah, the person you're in the middle of conversation. And then I said, huh? Yeah. But if it's the person beside you just explodes. You're walking down. Yeah. You're holding hands with the love of your life. Yeah. Going, we're on our way to sign the papers for your will. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then just ice goes, and you're just holding their arm. <laughs> This is with your mittens on. You're both wearing heavily because it's winter. You're both wearing mittens. Yeah. And you're just holding her hand. Yeah. Sick. That'd be tragic. <laughs> not bad. It's not no, bad. not a bad way to go. I'm just saying, like, cancer is like much worse than that. Oh, way worse. Which is, cancer is horrible. But I think you also got to hope that that happens at the right age. You know, like, you don't want to have it when you're young. You don't want that to happen when you're in, like, your ice 70s. to the head. Yeah. Ice to the head. Yeah. You don't want to get ice to the head when you're fucking 20. <sighs> but you're already dead then. It doesn't really matter. Once you're dead, none of your life matters. Yeah, I guess that's true. It doesn't matter because you'll never remember. It's gone. It's just done. How, how many views do you think your special would get if you got if you got hit by that crane and died? I think I'd get a fucking lot. Like, what do you think? Five, ten million? Oh, I don't know about five. I'm the crane guy, and they and they call the special crane. <laughs> <laughs> Crane by Carl Otero from the dead. Yeah. Um, 
Lewis think, would be so pumped. I, I know. Do you know what's He fun? would be so pumped. I wouldn't even mind. I, I pitched this idea about Rich Voss to Lewis also. And yeah. he was like, yeah, that would be solid. Yeah. He genuinely was like, that would be sick. What if Rich Voss died? If, this, if, Rich, if Rich Voss died now between the recording of the special and the release, yeah. the special would take off. It would be like, it would be so viewed. Yeah. And then and Lewis and they get, they get to do the grieving tour. Yeah. Where they're just like, man. Yeah. Like if I was to die, dude, you know, they'd, Documentaries. Be, just, they'd be like, dude, every time Colin was on stage, the it rest was. of the comedians came in to watch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a guy. <laughs> we got like Esty from the cellar and stuff going, he was going to be the best. Yeah. I, I loved giving him lots of spots. Yes. And they're like, <laughs> they all make a post. All the clubs that don't work me and all my enemies always just like start sharing photos. <laughs> But then you imagine doing that as just to catch people out. If I died, they'd be like, "Yeah, he was great upstairs at the stand." No one really ever watched him because because <laughs> he was never downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'd all just be like, "Listen." I think he did frantic once at like four in the morning. Sass's skits would have passed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, they wouldn't stand. Stand up wouldn't even be mentioned. No, yeah. Give no. it up for Sass's skits. Yeah. Here's some of his. Best uh, he tweets was great from when he was Twitter. 14. He was great on Twitter when he was 12 years old. Just some of his best preteen tweets <laughs> from Sass. <laughs> Sass says, whoa. <laughs> Colin was the kind of guy you walk in, you see him sitting at the table, you turn around. <laughs> you better bring You him. go, text me when I'm going up, because I'm not walking into that fucking, <laughs> that fucking the lion's you got right it. now. You got to bring it. He would keep you on your toes. And I'm, I'm, my God, you better. Hey, if you were new, <laughs> yeah. if you were new, you so were getting help it. help you, God. If you were new, you were getting it from Colin. <laughs> but it was in love. He meant to, you know. Thing is, he was also a sweet guy. Sweet guy. Oh, yeah. Very strong, guy. too. <laughs> no one wanted to follow him. He was the next one. <laughs> anyway, give me money somehow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> On behalf of Colin. Um, yeah, my specials are available for downloading Gas Digital. Yeah. <laughs> Lewis is <laughs> raking it in. He was not expected. <laughs> yeah, that would be sick. That would be sick. Well, I guess what you really want is to almost be in a vegetative state so that then people get to do all that type of shit and then you make a miraculous comeback and then they have to kind of back up their Like heart. DeMar Hamlin? Yeah. 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 Well, he'll never play again, will he? Yeah, he's playing this year. Is he? Yeah. Oh, good for him. Yeah. What was that about? That was something fishy about that, wasn't it? No. Didn't everyone think he died and they were like, I had a clone of him? Wasn't yeah, they, like, they thought there was, was a clone. Say, yeah, he him. got cloned. He got cloned for sure. Yeah, they thought they thought he got cloned. But yeah, he's bad. Can we prove that he didn't get cloned? He's like practicing and everything. Oh yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It's pretty wild. Rec- I feel like I would never play again. Like getting a concussion or whatever he got. <laughs> Dying. He died. <laughs> Did he die? He died on the field. Fair enough. Like ten minutes he or was some out shit. For a yeah, while. ten minutes. They had to. Br- they brought him back to life. I think they gave him the zappy things, right? The zappy thing. They zapped him. Quick! Zappy things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They gave him, um, what are they called? I don't know. And then that fucking, that fucking that fucking Fox there? dude was like, this is going to fuck up the whole Super Bowl schedule. <laughs> he was like, he was like still laying on the field. He's tweeting out. He's like, the Super, Super Bowl schedule is fucked. <laughs> Skip, yes. right? Fuck. Yeah. I already bought my tickets. Yeah. yeah. I already bought my tickets to Arizona. He's like, you got to think about sponsorships, ad revenue, people buying tickets. Look, and there's this dude who's like literally dead on the field. I know, but you know, sometimes these guys die. This is like part of the game. No, that kind never of. happens. They don't die sometimes. No, not on the field. I think it happened once before that ever. Boxers, people have been boxed to death in the ring. It happens. Sometimes. Yeah, but boxing is fucking retarded, dude. What? what do you expect is going to happen? It's not retarded. It. <laughs> What am I, uh, What are you saying? No, huh? I mean it's fun to watch, but Christopher it's like, Bruce, what, you like, and the good sport of boxing. People getting seriously hurt is not surprising. It's, it's a beautiful game. You're getting whatever. punched in the head by a professional puncher in the head. <laughs> yeah, but what about by these a professional head? What about puncher? football? They're just cla- they're, they're clashing. Yeah, but I think they like they, they, I don't know. I mean, but like MMA and all that shit, it seems like it's pretty easy to get permanently fucked up at a very like after like one fight. As far as I know, but this could also be more just big fight propaganda. UFC is less damaging than like MMA is less damaging than boxing because at least they, they're doing kicks and body yeah. stuff. And because they don't have pads, because it because the gloves aren't they can't hit as hard. They don't hit you as many times. Yeah, and it's like a thousand little jabs are worse than just one big fucking knockout. Yeah. 
That's what they say. I mean, I the, the I loser know. in those fights. That's probably again. There? That's propaganda. I know that's what they say. It was probably propaganda it again. Makes sense. In, for, ever... in forty years, Rogan's going to be up in a fucking trial for yeah <laughs> for hiding the CTE of fucking I mean, UFC fighters. I, 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 there, there has there ever been a fight where the loser didn't walk away with like a serious concussion? It's like if you get punched in the head hard, you get a concussion, right? I don't know. Apparently, you can get a concussion by just going like. Yeah. Like if you yeah. just do that long enough, you'll yeah. get a concussion. You just wag it, wag your. I used to do that because you get kid. fucking kicked in the head. I used to do as a kid by a professional oh. UFC fighter. Yeah, yeah, that will give you a concussion. Yeah, but it doesn't often happen. And then not, they just go not... out and get like fucked up after. <laughs> yeah, to try. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's just what they say. I don't know. But there's a lot of like fucking wrestling. I mean, I guess they have like techniques and stuff to probably avoid getting as bad of head damage. I don't know. I don't know. I love the Tyrell uh, what, coasters. But those those were a pretty big investment. Drop the bomb, dude. I'm flipping them. <laughs> I'm flipping them. They are a gift, actually. Is that really up to the podcast? Hmm? That's up the numbers on the podcast? The coasters? Yeah. They're actually a gift. They were, what did I call them? Did I call them coasters? Yeah, coasters. I guess the beer mats, coasters, or whatever. Um, some guy, I don't remember where, some guy in some town made these for me. They're nice. They're like, and it's like an Adidas. You start carrying models. those around and bringing them to restaurants. I want little ones. That's like a fucking ninja. Yeah. They're fucking. They're, those are sharp. That's a that, weapen. That'll take a guy out. Oh, yeah. Easily. It's one of my rock. enemies. Just. Yeah. Next time you're smoking. Um, next time <laughs> next time you got the vape, you're just going to get one of these across your hand. Like, <laughs> like fucking <laughs> Zorro or Batman or something. <laughs> Bringing your own coaster to a bar would be funny. Power move. For yeah. sure. Brought my own straw. I know. I'm all good. Brought this my one's own. mine. <laughs> You can tell it's mine because it has my name on it. <laughs> yeah. We got a batch room. Can you watch my coaster? <laughs> <laughs> hey, babe, I saw you were going to the batch room. Just put my coaster on. Yeah, don't want, don't yeah. want anyone dropping any drugs in there. <laughs> no, no, I'm not trying to drop drugs in there. I'm saying someone would drop drugs in there if it wasn't for the coaster. All right. Um, oh, yeah, we got to wrap up. It's a lot yeah, of I fun. Get down to. A lot of comedy talk. We have to just do a quick question from the Patreon. All right. Do we have one? This is from patreon.com slash column two. What happened? It's a real downer that someone left us. It's a downer? It's a downer. Okay, let's just do it. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It's like <laughs> advice or questions. Whatever no, you guys I want. I want to hear what it is. No, we are going to do okay. I'm just letting the people at home know if you want to get your questions. This is from Phil. Thanks, Phil. Shout out to Phil. He said, my dad is at the end of his life, and he's holding on too hard. Everyone is getting tired of him not dying. <laughs> Everyone's getting real tired of him not dying. <laughs> How can there we help? Start again, start again, start again, start again. My dad's at the end of his life. <laughs> but he's holding on way too hard. That's a wild thing to type. Yeah, he said you think it's holding... real? You think it's true? Here's what, here's what you got to do. You walk in there. <laughs> Put him out of his misery. Put him out of his misery, folks. There you go, Phil. With a machine Hope... gun. Glad you, had... Glad you rode in there, Phil. Just get yourself an Uzi. <laughs> Killing one guy with a machine gun is crazy. He was dying in a deathbed yeah. at a hospice. You like go, 70 <laughs> bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Papa. <laughs> shh, Dad. Shh. Dad, you got to go. We all we all want to go to Florida. <laughs> and what is, wait, what is the end of the question? The question is, how can I help him along to the other side? <laughs> <laughs> Pillow, my friend, Pillow. Yeah. Simple, yeah. Or just do with that. What did that fucking nurse do with the His million dollar baby? Is what you got to do. What did the nurse do in that? The, the they put like sa that the dude he killed like five hundred people. Saline. saline. Put Dr. saline Dad. in people's like in people's like fluids bag or whatever, and just killed like five hundred people, just for fun. Like, yeah. Wow. It's a good movie about it. It's called The Nurse. It's with uh, Jessica Chastain. You should watch it. It's really fucking good. <sighs> you just get addicted to take people's lives. Yeah, but he wouldn't even know. He would do it and then like go. He would clock out. And then he like didn't the know next, he was doing it. No, he knew he was doing it. Oh, but like okay. he would, then he'd like get back and they'd be like, "Yeah, that guy died." And he'd be like, "What? <laughs> you kidding no. me?" And then, he, and they're like, "We don't even understand. Like he was here. He had like a fucking." And he looks at a camera like in the office. He got his appendix removed. He had a broken arm. How the fuck did he die? <laughs> yeah. Why is his skin all black and poisoned? <laughs> why are his eyes yellow? Why is there a paper? Why is there a plastic bag wrapped around this guy's head? <laughs> he died of a broken leg. This guy. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what I would say for your dad or whatever. Just go in there. Or don't. Or just don't kill him. Just lean on him a little. Yeah. Like suffocate him, but like doesn't feel like you're posing for a selfie. <laughs> yeah. And then just, mm, and then next thing you know, you get the fucking Ford. Yeah, maybe <laughs> that's what it is. Maybe he's got a lot of money. I can't really think of any other reason why you'd be like, my dad's fucking dying and it's taking way too fucking long. 
Jesus. Well, my sister's got a timeshare, right. and we got to go. <laughs> yeah. So we, we <laughs> my sister got the timeshare. We, we really got to. We already canceled the fucking trip out to the vineyard, <laughs> and the, we're not canceling Florida. Yo, I swear I've, I've, to I've God. only been to the Cape twice this year. <laughs> yeah. I swear to God, we're not I, missing Nantucket. No way. No way. He'll die alone. I don't give a fuck. We're not missing yeah. Nantucket. You know, it's Banger's uh, bachelor party coming up. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So Banger got engaged. Um, so we're all hitting we're all hitting AC. <laughs> so uh, we got to hit the Banger's bachelor party. <laughs> you know how Banger is. <laughs> what? Nothing. All, all right. right. I got to get out of here. Yeah. All right, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Follow Lil Sasp. <laughs>